The Indian Air Force Chief delivered a lecture on transformation of the Indian Air Force present status and the way ahead, during which he presented some slides on new acquisitions and upgrades. The Air Chief has said that the Indian Air Force is procuring four squadrons of Tejas Mark 1A, six squadrons of Tejas Mark 2, two squadrons of AMCA Mark 1 and five squadrons of AMCA Mark 2, six squadrons of MRFA fighter jets. The Indian Air Force will also procure 16 MiG-29 and 12 Su-30 aircraft from Russia. The Air Force will procure 127 medium-altitude long-endurance drones, Archer UAV, autonomous stealth unmanned combat air vehicle, and 10 MQ-9 drones. The Indian Air Force is procuring 5 squadrons of S-400 system, 18 squadrons of MRSAM, 640 missiles of very short-range air defense system, and is also looking to procure very high-frequency stealth detection radar system, and 61 close-in weapon systems. The acceptance of necessity for ISTAR aircraft is currently under progress, and the purchase of six additional flight refuelers are in the pipeline. The Air Force has informed that the six Netra Mark II aircraft will be based on ex-Air India Airbus 321 aircraft and not on A319 reported in the media. The Air Chief has denied any talks being held with Russia on leasing six Tu-160 strategic bombers. The Air Chief has said that the Tu-160 was designed in the 1960s, and it requires escort from other fighter jets, and that the Indian Air Force will prefer long-range weapons to take out enemy targets. He also said, that the Indian Air Force simply doesn't have the budget for operating a fleet of such strategic bombers. Hindustan Aeronautics is testing a new mission computer for MiG-29K carrier-borne fighters, that will significantly improve the flexibility by combining domestically developed and western weapons with the MiG-29K. The testing of the new mission computer began in June 2022, and the trials will be concluded by March 2023. After Russia declined to upgrade the mission computer, or provide the source code to Hindustan Aeronautics, the DRDO developed a new derivative from the mission computer developed for the Tejas Mark II program. After successful trials, India will arm the MiG-29K with Astra Mark I. ASRAM, and Rudram Mark I anti-radiation missiles. Cochin Shipyard Limited has conducted the key laying ceremony of the first anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft for the Indian Navy. Cochin Shipyard will build eight such vessels, while eight more vessels are being built by Garden Reach shipbuilders. These 700-ton vessels are designed to undertake anti-submarine warfare duties, and also provide secondary duties like defense against enemy aircraft, mine laying and search and rescue. India has notified the Japanese Defense Minister, that India will take part in the Vostok 2022 multination military exercise hosted by Russia from 1st September, but India will stay away from the maritime component of the exercise that will be held on two of the four islands that Japan calls the Northern Territories. Russia controls the four islands, while the Japanese government maintains that the islands are an inherent part of Japan's territory. During the commissioning of the first indigenously built aircraft carrier INS Vikrant on 2 September, Prime Minister Modi will unveil a new ensign of the Indian Navy, that will replace the previous ensign from the colonial past, and will instead be befitting the rich Indian maritime heritage. Oh,